What looks like a technology is just infused in a way that makes our lives better. We can clearly see it in the context of an assistant. What's the next big thing at Google? At the Google I.O. 2024 conference, Sundar Pichai introduced some game-changing AI technology. A major highlight was the unveiling of Gemini AI, with two new versions, Gemini 1.5 Pro and Gemini 1.5 Flash. These were also exciting plans for expanding Gemini Advanced. But that's not all. Project Astra promises lightning-fast response times, while Gemini's ability to create photos, music and videos were on full display. Also, Google's new 6th generation TPU, named Trillium, is set to boost performance and will be released later in 2024. Google Search is getting smarter with new AI features that summarize content and search videos, starting in the US. Gemini AI is now part of Google Apps like Gmail, helping summarize emails and integrate data. Chips AI was also introduced to enhance chat interactions based on prompts. Soon, Google Live will let you have real conversations with Gemini AI. On Android, Gemini AI is the new default assistant, offering better context-aware help. For accessibility, Gemini AI Nano is enhancing the talkback feature. So, Google Search has been upgraded with AI Overview, which offers more detailed search results. This is expected to enhance the search experience by providing more in-depth research. A new tool called Imagine 3 was introduced to improve image, music and video creation. This tool is designed to add finer details when generating images. Gemini 1.5 Flash was launched to perform better in areas with low latency. It uses 1 million tokens to improve its response times. Additionally, Gemini 1.5 Pro now supports 1 million tokens and can handle longer context videos in over 35 languages. This version is now available to developers around the world. For regular users, Advanced Gemini offers 2 million tokens. During the event, Sundar Pickout demonstrates the capabilities of Gemini AI. A feature called Ask Photos helps find connections and people in images. The keynote address highlighted major changes in Gemini AI. The new version promises to enhance how users interact with Google services. The keynote is expected to focus on updates to Android 15, including improvements to privacy features, partial screen sharing and system-level app archiving. There may be some surprise announcements such as satellite messaging and redesigned status bars. There could be updates to popular Google products like Search, Chrome, G Suite and Maps, with a focus on AI improvements. These updates might address issues like third-party cookies. However, new hardware like Pixel 9 or Pixel 4 is unlikely to be revealed since Google I.O. usually focuses on software. But there could be exceptions, as seen with last year's Pixel Fold announcement. Tim Pagliara from Capwealth Advisors suggests that Alphabet should acknowledge any past mistakes with AI. The important thing now is to show a strong commitment to AI and demonstrate measurable progress without overpromising on its capabilities. Overall, Sundar Pichel emphasizes the vital role AI plays at Google, especially with Gemini AI, showing that the company is making significant strides in this area. At Google I.O. 2024, it's expected that Google will announce advanced AI features to popular products like Search, Chrome, Maps and G Suite. This means tools like Google Maps and Google Chrome, along with other Google Apps, will become even smarter and more user-friendly. A new version of Gemini AI might be revealed too, showing how it stacks up against OpenAI. Google tested new AI features for Android devices, such as Magic Compose and AI wallpapers. These innovations include better translation tools and AI-powered photo editors like Magic Editor have greatly improved the user experience on smartphones. There is a lot of excitement about how Google will respond to OpenAI's new GPT-4.0 model. This model has impressive real-time capabilities in audio, vision and text. People are curious about how Google will match or surpass this technology. Google I.O. 2024 starts today, May 14th. The event is both online and in person. You can watch the keynotes live on Google's official social media channels to stay up to date on the latest announcements and advancements from Google. Images and details of the upcoming Pixel 9 series have leaked. The Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro and Pixel 9 Pro XL feature rounded corners and pill-shaped camera bars. They have AM OLED screens with 120Hz refresh rate. The Pixel 9 might come with 12GB of RAM and 128GB of storage while the Pro models could offer 16GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. These phones are expected to run on Google's Tensor G4 SoC and support ultra-wideband technology. Rumors suggest that the Pixel series might soon include a foldable model. This would be in addition to the standard Pro and XL versions. The official announcement is expected in October, with these deliveries likely running on Android 15. A new feature called Memory is expected to be added to Google's AI chatbot, Gemini. 
This feature will let the chatbot remember specific user details for future conversations, similar to OpenAI's ChatGPT. The keynote on May 14th is expected to highlight updates for Android 15. These updates might include improvements to privacy features, partial screen sharing, and system-level app archiving. There could also be surprise announcements like satellite messaging and redesigned status bars. Google's popular products like Search, Chrome, G Suite, and Maps might get new AI features. These upgrades could address issues like third-party cookies, although hardware announcements are rare at I.O. Exceptions have occurred, such as last year's Pixel Fold reveal. Before the I.O. conference, Google hinted at new capabilities for the Gemini AI model, similar to OpenAI's GPT-4.0. These features might include real-time reasoning across text, audio, and video, enabling voice translation, question answering, and using the phone's camera to describe surroundings. The name I.O. for Google's developer conference stands for Input Output and Innovation in the Open. It reflects the interaction between technology and its environment and the collaborative spirit of the developer community. This name traces back to Geo Developer Day in 2006. Google has quietly relaunched the Pixel 8a just a few days before the annual I.O. conference. This continues the tradition of introducing new Pixel models during the event. OpenAI has unveiled its latest model, GPT-4.0, just a day before Google I.O. 2024. Google is expected to enhance tools like Maps, Chrome, Gmail and Google Workspace with the help of Gemini AI. Google may soon replace Google Assistant with Gemini on all Android devices. Gemini AI app users are already being offered the option to make Gemini their default assistant. Android 15 is expected to bring many new features, including satellite connectivity, audio sharing, notification cooldown, app archiving and partial screen sharing. These upgrades will focus on improving user privacy, productivity and security. Google will update its operating system for wearables, Wear OS 5. The new version will include improvements in the watch face format and will be designed for a wider range of devices. While Google I.O. is not typically focused on hardware, new gadgets are sometimes unveiled. Last year, Google introduced the Pixel 7a and the first Pixel Fold. This year, major hardware announcements are unlikely since the Pixel 8a has already been launched. The Pixel Fold series might be released later in the year with the Pixel 9 series. Google is also expected to reveal a new AI assistant called Pixie, exclusive to Pixel devices. Pixie might have multimodal capabilities, allowing users to interact through text, voice and images. Last year, it was suggested that Pixel AI might be upgraded to use data from a user's device, like Maps or Gmail, making it a more personalized Google Assistant. At the Google I.O. event 2024, Google introduced Project Astra, an advanced AI system that uses your phone's camera and microphone to understand and assist with everyday tasks. So, what are your thoughts on the project? Let us know in the comments below, and also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you next time!